great. So here's what the uh, project is today, an LX176. I picked up quite reasonably from a friend of mine, knowing that it has some issues and uh, obviously not an actual John Deere seat, but it's pretty comfy and it's got armrests, so I kind of dig it. Might add a cup holder to it. So let me get the hood off and I'll explain kind of what's going on. 14 horsepower Kawasaki on this baby and uh, bought it knowing that it had an oil leak and it was really really loud and got a great deal on it and I have the starter removed here so that I can show you exactly where the oil leak is coming from there's a crack in the casting right there now when we got this thing from my buddy uh, every single bolt on the lower part of the crankcase was actually loose and laying on the frame and there was oil everywhere everything had rattled apart it actually still ran even with every single crankcase bolt below being loose and just laying down there the thing was super loud my sons took it apart and found that the flange for the muffler was completely busted off so took that off re-welded it good to go and uh, my oldest son Jacob tightened up all the crankcase bolts and it really stopped most of the leak but we were still finding some drips down on the deck and it's like man what's going on hey this by the way this was added by the previous owner so if you're wondering what that is he just extended it and put that ball valve on there I thought that was kind of smart and he put a uh, hour meter on there too slick uh, so what I'm gonna do today is because we got such a screaming deal on this thing parts are hard to find I'm I have a lead on getting another used uh, Kawasaki but um, I have nothing to lose so I'm actually going to grind and drill this thing and see if we can set some JB weld in there epoxy these this up and that it'll just stop the leak because the thing really runs and drives awesome it's nice and quiet it's just leaking oil so let's give it a shot we got nothing to lose let's get set up here we go now with everything all cleaned up probably see that crack a little bit better starts down here curves up and goes almost all the way up to that webbing there it's very very slight but it is there again this thing runs and sounds just fine I'm just trying to fix the oil leak until I can get through the season and I plan to replace this engine with a different 14 horse in this next winter so anyway Let's see if this works. We're gonna uh, use some JB Quick. I've had good luck with this stuff in the past. And uh, as long as I get my surface good and clean, I'm gonna use a Dremel tool and clean a nice notch in there. Now this is an older Dremel, so you know it's a good one. It's got some really awesome attachments. And uh, so, I'm gonna create kind of a, a groove along my crack. I'm gonna actually drill into the very end of the crack to stop it from continuing on. Once it would get up into the webbing, it would probably stop. I don't know how long that crack has been there, but I don't want it to continue. So I'm gonna drill in to the end there and then create kind of a V notch, rough it up a little bit. We'll mix up some JB and mush it in there, leave it overnight and see if we've fixed anything tomorrow. So here we go. All right, safety squints engaged. Well, now that that crack has been kind of chamfered and veed out and cleaned up the aluminum surface around it, I got my hole drilled in there. I think that's gonna be a, a good surface for this two-part epoxy to really grab onto that metal. So hopefully 
just gonna smear a little bit onto my cardboard right here. It's a 50-50. So you want about the same amount of both pieces. About like that. Where'd my other cap go? There it is. Stay in there now. If you hear neighborhood kids, that's what we got around here. We got neighborhood kids that love to scream. <laughs> so, all right. Mix this stuff up. Half is black, half is white. Mix it till it's kind of a medium gray. It tells you that your blend is correct. I know that I got some aluminum shavings into my crankcase. I know that I got some brake clean wash kind of that, that went into the hole and then down and into the crack and into my crankcase. I'm gonna end up changing the oil on this thing anyway, so really not that concerned about that. Aluminum is a uh, fairly soft metal. I'm glad it's not cast iron that I'm drilling out and sending through there. Um, it's also a spin on oil filter on this thing. I'll be changing that as well, so um, not too bad. All right, here we go. Time to start applying some epoxy. Less is not more on this thing. More is more. <laughs> All right. Try and push it into the hole without making too giant of a mess. This is all gonna be hidden behind the starter. Of course, if I ever end up selling this machine, I will definitely tell the next owner, hey, that crankcase is cracked. It's been repaired, JB Weld. But ideally, I'll be replacing this with a good block anyway. So, here's hoping. Something like that. No, it's supposed to be five to ten minutes. It's pretty much set up, and I'm actually gonna let it sit overnight for it to fully cure. And we'll check for our leaks to be fixed tomorrow. Spread it out a little bit more. I got a little bit more here. You can tell it's already starting to thicken up and harden, so you don't get a real big window of time. But it tells us it's working, right? I think this is going to be a pretty decent fix. I've I've had good luck in the past with doing things like this. We'll find out. All right. There it's going to sit overnight. And let's check in tomorrow, see how we did. We'll pop the starter back in, connect up our wiring, and uh, put some fresh oil through it, and uh, see how we did. Day two now sat overnight and cured pretty well and uh, yeah pretty happy with that there's only one way to find out if it's gonna hold and not leak anymore so gonna bolt the starter back on and uh, start this thing up it's not pressurized oil it's just splash oil in this part of the crankcase so I'm thinking it's gonna work just fine just trying to get by here we go I say here we go too much. <laughs>
one electrical connector down there and uh, the positive cable going up to the battery doesn't get it more simple than that um, so what I'm gonna do here made sure that my uh, oils full I'm gonna start the engine up probably let it sit and idle for five minutes or so and just make sure that I don't have any oil dripping and leaking down in here because that's exactly where I was seeing the oil uh, was right in that area there so let's hit the key and find out here we go Turn the choke on. There. Come on. That's a good test drive. Uh, it did rain this morning, so you're seeing a little bit of condensation, a little bit of rainwater come off of some of these spots, but yep, I'm happy with that. This is old oil, so I'm going to pull this thing over by the uh, pressure washer, get this all cleaned off completely, really, really nice, and get the hood put back on. And I say, mission accomplished. I'm not seeing any oil down in there one bit back behind that starter where our crack was at. So if you want to do a project like this on your K-Series 14 horse Kawasaki and your John Deere LX176, these are the tools that I used right here. Dremel tool, a drill, some JB Weld, quick stuff. Certainly didn't use up hardly any. You could get the smaller tubes of that. Uh, as far as attachments on my Dremel, it was primarily one of these to cut a groove in that uh, crack in the aluminum. I did use this one as well, kind of a ball point router bit. And I used a little bit of 80 grit sandpaper to clean up some of the aluminum on the sides of the crack. So. There you go, Dremel, drill, some JB Weld. You can fix a crack in your aluminum block as well just to stop that oil leak. Time to finish cleaning it up, put my hood back on, and uh, we're good to go. I actually don't see the comments here on YouTube, but you'll find me over at Instagram. It's at flannel underscore Philip, and uh, we can chat there if you'd like to. Um, I appreciate everybody following the channel and seeing what's going on in my world. Some of it's maybe boring to you, but that's just what's happening. And so I appreciate every one of you that's supported whatever's going on in my world, whether it's pinstriping or truck interviews or uh, vlog style stuff. We got all kinds here. So we'll keep growing. We'll keep making content. Thank you so much for everybody supporting the channel. Peace and grease.